my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students, happy learning! Our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first, determine the length, width, and height of a rectangular pyramid. Next, find the volume of a rectangular pyramid and solve problems involving the volumes of rectangular pyramids. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So ngayon, let's activate your prior knowledge. You are going to name the pyramidal shapes na makikita po sa ating daily life. Ready? Okay, the first feature ang tawag po dyan is very good. Wooden pyramid box. Next is correct. Pyramid house. And the last one is correct. Pyramid cabinet. So, with the given features na napangalanan po natin yung mga objects na yan, now you can now identify the types of pyramid kung ito ba ay square pyramid or rectangular pyramid. Ready? Okay, let's check. Your answer, the wooden pyramid box, ito po ay square pyramid. Yung pyramid house naman po ay correct, rectangular pyramid. And for the cabinet, that is correct, square pyramid. Paano ba malalaman ko square, square pyramid or rectangular? If you're going to observe the bottom, yung surface, no? Yun yung ating base. Ang shape ng base ng wooden pyramid box ay square. Kaya nga square pyramid. Yung bottom surface naman ng pyramid house ay rectangle. Kaya nga rectangular pyramids. So, ganun po kung paano mag-identify. So, today, let's focus on finding the volume of rectangular pyramid. So, but before that, ano nga ba yung pyramid? Let's unlock the vocabulary terms. Ready? Check. When we say pyramid, correct. That is a uh, three-dimensional geometric shapes where the base is polygon and all other sides are triangles that meet. Nakikita po sila saan? Sa apex or yung tinatawag natin sa vertex. Which we'll see sa figure 1. Ito po yung ating apex, yung nasa top, no? Kung saan nag-meet. Kaya nga vertex. Meet at one point. Next. So, another we have the height of the pyramid is the perpendicular height which is the distance from the apex or vertex to the base of the pyramid na makikita mo sa figure 2 natin. So, kapag nag-draw kasi ako ng line, di ba, yun yung slant height natin. Tapos, yung perpendicular height natin, yun distance from the apex or the vertex to the base. And for the last, that is the slant height is the distance measured along a lateral face. Yun yung ating makita naman sa Figure 3. So, from the apex to the base edge, it is the height of the triangle which is the lateral face of the pyramid. Ko makikita natin yun, di ba, sa figure 1 at figure 2. So, yun po yung mga dapat tandaan natin sa pyramid and the vocabulary terms. So, with that, so let's go back on the definition of rectangular pyramid. So, that is, so, three-dimensional geometric shape. That has rectangular base. Kaya nga siya tinawag na rectangular pyramid kasi ang base niya ay rectangle shape. And four triangular faces, katulad ng ating example kanina na rectangular pyramid house. So, and four triangular faces, yun yung tinawag na lateral faces, that are joints at the top. Yun yung ating vertex or the apex. So, yun yung ating figure 1, figure 2, and figure 3. All examples are rectangular pyramid. Kasi nga, meron silang rectangular base, pare-parehas. Okay, so the bottom rectangles are called the base of the pyramid. So next week, pag-usapan natin yung square pyramid. But today, we have to focus on finding the volume of rectangular pyramid. So ngayon, paano nga ba na-derive or paano nga ba nagkaroon ng formula for finding the volume of rectangular pyramid? So, so, i-relate natin ano nga ba yung relationship ng volume of prism at yung volume ng pyramid. Nanggaling po sila sa prism. Okay, may papakita akong video clip. So, ibig sabihin nito class, yung volume ng prism kapag nilagyan ko ng tubig gamit yung pyramid with the same height and base, ilang tubig kaya ang kayang i-contain or kayang isalin doon sa loob ng prism. Okay, so panoorin po natin. Let's have this. One, isang takal. 2, 3. Ibig sabihin yung class, tatlong takal, di ba, napuno siya. Ibig sabihin ito, balikan ko yung volume of prism. The volume of prism is simply 
the area of the trees times the height. Okay, so kung mapapansin po natin yung area ng base, equal lang siya doon sa area ng rectangle. And i-multiply mo sa height. Yun yung ating volume ng phrase. Yeah. Ano ba yung formula ng area ng rectangle? Ay, yun yung ating length time speed. Tapos pag minultiply mo yung area ng rectangle, yun yung length time height. Yung pa rin yung formula para manaman yung volume ng phrase. Yeah. So ngayon, ano yung relationship ngayon? Or paano na-derive yung formula ng volume ng pyramid? So, kapag nilagay mo kasi yung pyramid sa loob ng doon sa pre-tem, that is simply gaano siya kadami or how much. That is one-third. Kaya nga that is area ng base times height. So, kukunin mo yung one-third niya. Yun yung ating volume of the pyramid is equal to one-third times length times width times height. Yun yung formula natin. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng formula ng volume of pyramid. Diyan ang galing or na-derive. So, The formula of pyramid is also written in different forms or way. So, pwede siya ipakita na length times width times height divided by 3. Yun yung one third, no? Sinorkat ko lang. Or pwede siya, kapag wala naman yung length times width mo, base ang given or area ng base is simply multiply yung area ng base sa height divided by 3 or one third mo. So, yun yung ating katumbas ni area ng base, yun yung length times width. Pero kapag wala naman siya, ang given is square base, or that is the 4 square base, no? So, instead of length times width, yun yung kapalit niya, yun yung side times side. Remember, uh, square has a 4 sides are equal. Okay? Kaya nga side times side yun. Yun yung, or S square times height. Okay? So, now let's work the example. Number one, find the volume of rectangular pyramid whose base is 6 by 7 inches and a height of 10 inches. Nakalabel na po yung ating length times width times height. All we have to do is complete the table. So kailangan ma-identify natin, matukoy natin yung unit, length, width, height, and volume. So unit given is inches, correct. Length is 7 inches, width is 6 inches, height is 10 inches, and the volume of course, hahanapin natin. Pero paano ba malalaman or mahahanap? So remember, solution natin. Kailangan unang-una dyan, ma-recall po natin yung formula natin para sa volume ng pyramid. So that is, one-third times length times width times height. Since meron na tayong given sa table, yung ating length times width times height, i-substitute na lang natin doon sa ating formula. Kaya nga, ang gagawin mo, i-multiply mo yung 7 times 6 times 10. Kaya nga, that is equal to 420 cubic inches. Laging cubic or 3 ang exponent kapag volume. I-divide mo by 3. Yun yung one-third kanina. Sinurkat lang natin. And that is equal to 140 cubic inches. So therefore, yan na po yung ating volume na hinahanap sa rectangular pyramid. Therefore, the volume of the rectangular pyramid is 140 cubic inches. Let's have work example number 3. Find the volume of rectangular pyramid if its base length is 10 meters, width is 6 meters, and height is 14 meters. Nakalabel na po yung ating length, width, and height. All we have to do is complete the table. So, ano yung unit natin? Correct, meter. Length is 10 meters. Width, 6 meters. Height is 14 meters. And ano yung volume na wawala? Hahanapin natin. Paano malalaman yun? Siyempre, solution ka muna. So, write the formula. Kailangan ma-recall po natin. Ano nga ba yung formula ng volume ng pyramid? That is, one-third times length times width times height. Since meron na tayong... Given length, width, and height sa table, is a substitute na lang natin. Okay, so substitute mo yung 10, kaya multiply mo na lang yung 10 times 6 times 14. That is equal to 840 cubic meters. Laging 3 yan kasi cubic, or that is volume. I-divide mo by 3, yun yung one third, no? Sinurkat natin. And that is equal to 280 cubic meters. Yan na po yung ating volume sa ating rectangular pyramid. Therefore, the volume of the rectangular pyramid is 280 cubic meters. So next work, let's work the example number three. The volume of rectangular pyramid is 300 cubic feet. If the length is 9 feet and the width is 5 feet, what is the height? Or ano yung height natin? Paano malalaman yun? Siyempre, first, kailangan complete natin yung table para ma-complete natin yung ating data na isa substitute sa formula. The unit is simply correct. Fit. Next, yung length natin. Ano yung length natin? That is, okay, 
9 feet width is 5 feet yung height natin yun yung hahanapin natin kaya naka question mark volume natin dyan is 300 cubic feet so solution natin syempre kailangan ma-master mo ano nga ba yung formula natin to find the volume of pyramid is simply one third or simply shortcut mo length times width times size divided by 3 since meron na tayo dyan length tsaka width substitute mo siya tapos yung 300 cubic feet substitute mo sa volume din Tapos, yung length mo na 9 tsaka width 5 substitute mo. Yung height dyan, yung H na wawala. Kaya dapat nandyan pa rin siya. Kaya nga, paano yan? Meron siyang denominator na 3. Kapag ganyan po, i-cross multiply mo. Ibig sabihin, yung 3 na denominator, i-multiply mo sa 300, yung nasa left side. Kaya nga, 3 times 300 cubic feet. Tapos, since minultiply mo na yung 3 sa kabila, mawawala na siya. Matitira na lang siya yung 9 feet times 5 feet times height. Tsaka may multiply na yun yung 3 times 300 cubic feet. That is equal to 900 cubic feet. I-multiply mo din yung 9 feet tsaka 5 feet. Ilan ngayon yun? That is 45 square feet times height. Yung height nandyan pa rin kasi yun po yung hinahanap natin. Ngayon, para mahanap yung height mo, ibig sabihin niyan, itira mo siya dyan. Tanggalin mo yung number na katabi niya. Ibig sabihin niyan, yan, i-copy ko lang muna para hindi tayo mali ito. Masundan natin step by step. At i-divide ko on both sides of the equation kung ano yung katabi ni height. Kasi kailangan matanggal yon Kaya nga, you have to divide both sides of the equation by 45 square feet para makancel siya. Matitira nga yun si yung height mo. Tapos i-divide mo si 900 divided by 45. Ilan yon Correct. That is 20. Paano nga yun yan? Diba? Cubic feet tapos divided by square feet. Parang ganito lang yan. Kung meron kang tatlong feet, tas may dalawang feet, pag sinubtract mo yan, that is feet na lang. That is quotient rule for exponent. Okay? So, or pwedeng balik na mo, height is equal to 20 feet. Yan na po yung ating height na hinahanap sa problem. Therefore, the height of the rectangular pyramid is 20 feet. Okay? So, now let's work the example number 4. Suppose, ito na. So, halimbawa yung government city of Manila, no? They plan to build a pyramidal water reservoir. Yung imbahan ng tubig parang dam ito. Kasi tag-ulan ngayon, kailangan makaipon sila ng tubig. The base area of the reservoir has to be, kailangan daw 10,000 square feet. Given that its height is 51 feet, find the volume of the reservoir. So, first, complete the table. Ano ba yung unit natin? The unit is, correct, feet. Length. Ano yung length natin? Okay, kung babalikan natin sa problem, di ba? Wala siyang binanggit na length. Wala ding width. Pero may sinabi siyang square feet. Ibig sabihin nito, the word square feet, may idea ka na ang plano nilang gawin na reservoir is square pyramid. Kasi na square feet yung ating given. So, ibig sabihin nyo ito, para malaman yung side mo, papalitan mo siya. Yung length, papalitan mo ng side. Kasi nga, walang length dyan. Yun yung katumbas ng length, yung side. Ganon din yung width mo, papalitan mo siya ng side. Ibig sabihin nito, kukunin mo nga yung square root ng 10,000 square feet. Yun yung side natin. Okay? So remember, yung square, the sides are all equal. Kaya nga, side times side. And the square root is 100 feet. So ngayon yung, yan na yung ating side na ilalagay sa table. Parehas lang yan kasi nga equal sila. Yung height natin nasa given as is, yung height is 51 feet. And yung volume, yun yung hahanapin natin. Okay, so first, to find the volume, remember the solution is simply, balikan natin yung formula. Ano nga yung formula ng volume ng pyramid? That is one-third times length times width times height. Since ang ginamit natin, di ba, square pyramid to. So, ibig sabihin nito, wala yung length niya. Ang kapalit niya yung side. Kaya mapapalitan mo yung formula mo na length, magiging S, or that is W with is side then. Kaya nga that is the one-third times side times side times H. Okay, so that is substitution. 100 times 100 feet times 51, that is equal to 510 cubic feet. I-divide mo by 3, yun yung one-third kanina. And that is, correct, how many? 170 cubic feet. So, yan na po yung ating volume na hinahanap doon sa problem. Na kung saan, they plan to build a square pyramid na reservoir. Okay, so therefore, the volume of the square pyramid is 170 cubic feet. So, with that, you are going to answer the question number one for assessment. Ready?
Okay, the answer is letter D, correct. 125 cubic feet. Remember, a pyramid has a height, no? Feet, yung 15 feet. Each side of its base is 5 feet long. So, ibig sabihin, the word 5 each, ibig sabihin ito, square yung pyramid na given natin sa problem. All we have to do is, substitute yung ating formula, length times width times height divided by 3. Since parehas lang yung measure ng ating side, kaya nga 5 times 5 times 15 divided by 3. And that is equal to 375 over 3. That is now the cubic feet. And equals to 125 cubic feet. So, yan po yung ating answer doon. Okay, let's have number 2. Ready? Okay, correct. Letter A. That is 9 cubic centimeter. Paano po nakuha ito? Remember, find the volume pyramid with the base area, no? Of a square centimeter. And height of 12 centimeter. Since wala siyang binanggit na length times width, wala rin siyang sinabing na square base. Pero meron kang uh, area. I mean, meron kang area na binanggit. So, ang gagamitin mo na formula is one-third times base times height. Yun yung area ng base mo is 24. Kaya nga, i-substitute mo lang yung 24 square centimeter times 12 cm. Tapos, i-divide mo by 3. Kaya nga, that is 288 cubic centimeter divided by 3. And that is correct, 96 cubic centimeter. So, yan po yung answer. Okay, for the last one, ready? Okay, for answer, that is letter B, 9 meters. Ano po nakuha yun? Okay, babalikan natin. Remember, given the pyramid with a volume of 120 cubic meters, no? So, nakikita natin sa right natin. So, ibig sabihin nito, given yung kanyang length na 8 meters at yung width na 5 meters, nawawala si height. Paano malalaman yung height natin? Okay, ito po yung solution. Substitute mo lang sa given formula and then yung volume natin dyan is 120 cubic meters. Ganon din, substitute mo yung 8 meters times 5 times height. Yung height kasi nawawala, kaya naka-H lang siya. And i-cross multiply mo yung 3 times 120 cubic meters. Kaya that is, and multiply mo ngayon yung 3 times 120, 120 is 360 cubic meters. I-multiply mo din yung 8 times 5, kaya that is 40 square meters times height. Then, para ma-cancel yan, matira yung height mo, i-divide mo on both sides of the equation by 40 square meter. Kaya ang height mo dyan, divide mo yung 360 cubic meters divided by 40 square meters. That is equal to 9 meters. So, yan na po yung ating sagot doon, letter B. So, with that, let's have your assignment. Complete the table on each number and find the volume of the rectangular pyramid. Copy and answer ah, with solution on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy natin. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning. Keep on learning. Bye-bye, everyone.